Hi, I'm Luella DeVille. Um, I'm a model, singer, writer and radio presenter. Live in Melbourne, Australia. I like to travel, do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, I'm the girl in the Rebray, sitting down with Luella DeVille, a model she just introduced herself before. <laughs> you lovely, lovely thing. So, you said you're uh, a model. What first attracted you to like the modelling industry? Um, when I moved to Melbourne when I was 17, I started working with like a talent kind of agency group, mm. um, doing like burlesque, bands, modelling, all that type of stuff. And yeah, I just like met people through that and I had a friend who was doing a photography course and he um, needed a subject and then it just sort of yeah happened. Did you have like any prior like ideas of what the modeling industry would be like to like how you sort of see it now? Not really like because I do a lot of sort of alternative modeling and mm. lingerie modeling so it's not as so mainstream um, yeah. No, no, I just, I, I didn't really think about it. Like it just yeah. kind of happened and then... Kind of like fell into yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then I just, you just meet people and start working with them and they'd introduce you to other people and yeah, it just, I don't know, happened. What's the best thing about being a model? Free shit. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> What's like the best thing you've got? Um, uh, I got like a package of like headphones, beanies, shirts, and yeah, just free clothes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Free jewelry. Yeah. Or oh, getting like free haircuts, you know, like doing hair modeling, you get like free modeling. So um, I did read that you do take uh, inspiration from Mosh, Sabina, Kelly, and Betty Page. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit um, about like why? Um, well, Sabina Kelly, I remember seeing her on the cover of a tattoo magazine when I was probably like 16. Mm. And she was the first like tattooed model, you know, I'd really seen before. And I was just so intrigued by how beautiful she was and how um, she had a career in modeling as a, you know, a tattooed model. So um, I definitely just sort of like followed her career a bit. That's, you know, that's who really got me into tattoo modeling. Um, Mosh is just an amazing alternative model. She's just, yeah, really inspiring, um, very eccentric. So I like. I like how out there she is with her work and Betty Page is just like, you know, pin-up queen, so, yeah. yeah. I also did read that your biggest inspiration mm. is your mother. Yes, Mum. Uh, Shout out to Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Mandy your inspiration? Because she's my mum. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's like my best friend, you know, I have a very, very open and close relationship with my mum mm. and she's like my biggest supporter with everything I do and I feel like I can talk to her about anything and yeah. she's just she's been through a lot and she's so strong you know she's had a lot of health issues and she's still smiling yeah. and she's always just encouraging myself and my brother and yeah she's it's just amazing seeing someone go through so much and still be like you know fuck life I'm gonna be the best that I can and yeah. I'm gonna be happy you know I'm not gonna let that get me down so I love you, Mum. Okay, well, my mum's great advice to me was I was like 16 and she's like, Phoebe, she was looking at herself in the mirror, I don't really know why, she didn't even turn to me to say this, and she was like, Phoebe, <laughs> if, uh, if you dress like a nun, you'll get none. <laughs> <laughs> so that's from my mum. If you dress like a nun, you'll get none. Yeah. So did you feel like you had to dress I more provocatively? Or? I, to be honest, I don't think I did. Yeah. I think I just looked at her like, what? Are you saying to your daughter? Like, okay. I think How she old were you, 16? 16. I think she just thought it was funny. She was like, oh, I've got a funny thought. Who else can I? Like, I don't know. I don't think she actually meant it. She just thought it was funny. But do, uh, does Mandy have any, um, like, pr maybe actual advice? Like, I don't feel like that's even advice. That's just, just rhymes. Just or trying just, to be just, a just mate. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, down with the youth. <laughs> what up? <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Um, my mom is very funny, but I think she always just tells me, you know, if you need to find peace in yourself 
and you can't look for it externally. So that is, you know, she practices meditation and I grew up in a very hippie lifestyle. So yeah, yeah just being comfortable. She's always just like, you just got to be comfortable with who you are and don't search for it in other people. And that's always something that I want to practice. Yeah. Moving around, you moved around like a lot. Did yeah. that sort of affect your career and how? It's affected my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? um, helped me adjust to change quite easily. Um, be able to make friends, you know, everywhere I go. Um, I think it helps with confidence as well. You know, I feel like a lot of people kind of stay in the same place their whole life and then they go somewhere different. It's very hard. Yeah. But for me, I'm kind of just like, yep. All right, next, what am I doing um, with my career? I think it kind of has affected it where I get bored easily. Yeah. You know, and um, if I don't want to do something, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, there's been a few jobs and I remember going to a job interview once and they were like, so we've noticed that you've worked in a few places. Why is that? And I didn't want to be like, well, you know, I got really fucking bored. Yeah. I'm just like, ah. Uh, I had to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah cool. Affected my career that way. Right now, you are hosting a hip hop program on Sin or Radio. Mm -hmm. um, was radio something that you always wanted to do? Like, you mentioned, like, you know, moving around a lot, of, I guess, is like, you know, made you, like, get like, bored easily. Yeah. Is that sort of like another thing you just wanted to try out because you've been sort of doing modelling and singing mm -hmm. and all these things? Was that just something that you wanted to sort of add? Well, I'm doing a degree in writing right now mm -hmm. and. I've always wanted to do like music journalism mm. and then last semester I was doing radio production yeah. and then I just felt so confident and so it just felt so natural and we did a tour through Sin and they were like oh yeah by the way you can um, do training here mm. and I just was like fuck alright I may as well do it and then just got given the show and I've just yeah. been like since then I've been like this is it this is what I want to do you know yeah, like yeah, we're yeah. all searching for what we of good at and what we want to do and for me like I love talking and I love music and I'm like I can bring Tomorrow. them all together. Yeah, so you were in a Drake music video how did that kind of come about? Um, I was only in a tiny little bit of it so yeah. I just want to say that. Yeah. <laughs> I, wasn't no, I was the whole thing. <laughs> um, it was so funny like I was in LA yeah. and I was chilling with one of my my friends and she was like you've got to listen to this new YG song because it was YG and Drake um, and when I got to America everyone's like have you heard of this artist YG and I was like no nah, not really mm. and they were like he's blowing up he's huge and so I was sitting in the car with my friend she's like you've got to hear this song and we're listening to it and it was the one with Drake and we were both just like man like this is so cool yeah and then two days later somehow they'll like my friend's friend who does a lot of um, photography work for hip hop artists was just like, oh, I'm going to the music video. Mm. Do you guys want to come? Yeah. And I was, it was my last day in America. I had my flight that night and we ended up going out there. Um, I didn't even really think about being in it. Like I just was like, I'm just going to go along. Mm. And then next minute I'm sitting by the pool. Yeah. Just like dancing, so. <laughs> it's it fun? It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Um, I missed my flight. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Mm. Um, yeah, just having too much fun. But it was a pretty surreal experience. Yeah. I think it was just hilarious. It was my last yeah. day there. And, you know, we'll listen to the song before. So it just kind of happened. Yeah. Were yeah. you in LA to do like modeling stuff? Yeah. Or just, yeah. Yeah, like I was in America for three months doing a. Luella vs. America tour. Oh, cool. So How did it go? It was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, I had so much fun. I love America. Mm. Yeah. What is next for Lu Luella DeVille? Uh, just keep doing radio, mm -hmm. um, keep doing music, keep doing modelling. Just um, did a shoot yesterday for a new um, magazine. So that was like the cover that's coming out soon. So you guys will, can't say too much, but it's yeah. going to be like, you know, around. So awesome. excited for that. Um, yeah, just keep working on yeah, cool. what I'm doing. But lastly, I want to ask you for some advice, like mm -hmm. modelling. We might, maybe you could show me how to do some some, <laughs> some poses. Yeah. Any inspiration? Any <laughs> words of inspiration before we do um, that? Be comfortable. Okay. Be confident. Um, and just own your shit. You All know, right. like you've got to just be like, this is what I'm doing. Um, yeah, the more comfortable you are on the self, the more that's going to show in yeah. your work. You know, and you can really see when girls uncomfortable mm. they've got that like dick on the headlights kind of look so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, cool. 
Well, uh, thank you so much for thank chatting you. with me. Yeah. Cool, cool. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Just shimmy out of here.